Some of them is just coming home from school. She's literally who I'm waiting on now so that I can get ready and get dressed to go. <laughs> crunch time, crunch time. Okay, so I'm getting a better shot here. So guys, I'm ready to go now. Just waiting on Caitlin to finish getting dressed because she literally just came home from school. So guys, that's the luggage over there. So we have two check pieces, two carry-ons. That knapsack is for Caitlin. That little bag has like two neck pillows for us both. Um, that's going to be my handbag. So inside of that, there's another handbag and another handbag, but that's the one I'll bring because it does have, you know, some more space that I can utilize in there in the event that I need, you know, like a little bit of like an extra storage. So yeah, that's me and just here preparing to leave out shortly. I know it's, uh, it's like a, a, it's such a big task going to Jamaica because the journey is so long. But I know in the end, it's usually worth it because I'm like 20 to 30 minutes away from the train station. Then another three and a half to four hours heading into London. And then I'm about, say, another 45 minutes away from the hotel. The only good thing is that the hotel that I'll be staying is literally like six minutes away from the airport. So that's good. So I don't have like a long journey to do in the morning. But yeah, I hope to have a very good time. Um, I literally just ordered something to eat because I'm not even making anything before I leave the house. So I'm going to grab that right now. of the rubble quick room tour nothing too serious somewhere to lay our heads for the night to catch our flight first thing tomorrow so this is a little closet area little coffee station i think a fridge might be here this is a fridge yeah a fridge with nothing in yeah um this is the bathroom. Nothing too serious going on here. Just a regular, regular bathroom. Yeah. So that's what we have there. Quick, quickest room tour this. Sorry. Um, and this is just a little twin room for me and Caitlin to lay our heads for the night. Yeah. 
It's a nice little room. You see, you feel nice. So that's what we have going on there. Um, I don't think we have much of a view based on where we're at. There's not really to show you outside because it's night anyway. But yeah, this is us. Any more lights? Okay, a little bit better. So that's the view of the room. As I said, this is the quickest room tour ever. Nothing serious. Just somewhere to lay our heads, rest for the night, to catch our flight first thing tomorrow. So our flight is at 8 a.m. And there's hell no way that we could leave where we live to get here for 8 a.m. So our best bet was to travel to London from today, which we did. It was long and hectic. I mean, luckily, I managed to go through my stuff and get rid of one of the extra suitcases that I have because it was really a struggle today pulling them luggages in the train station and it's re it was really get up. <laughs> But nonetheless, I've made it. I've made it. Um, that's why sometimes people be asking, oh, when are you coming to Jamaica? When are you coming to Jamaica? Coming to Jamaica for me is a real... It's hard work. Pretty much. It's hard work. It's a lot that have to go into it. Even when I got to the train station at London King's Cross, I, lucky, what I did, I booked a hotel that was closer to the airport. So... Technically, it's farther away from King's Cross. So literally, it's cost us like almost 50 pounds just to get here to the hotel. But nonetheless, at least we're like six minutes away from the terminal that we leave from tomorrow. So that's a plus. Anyway, see you later, guys. Okay. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, February 16, and it's finally travel day. It's time to go to Jamaica so i've got up gotten fresh this is my bare face because listen that 10 hours flight ain't nobody got time to be putting on makeup to because i'm going to be sleeping sleeping proper, proper sleep spread out and sleep so no makeup i just you know get dressed and um put some lip gloss on and that's me bare face so we are ready to go <sighs> two of my luggage are like about one or two pounds overweight but let's see how it goes hope i get somebody nice you know who will overlook that um it's currently what time is it 5 20 i think it's about 5 20 we're aiming to leave here by 5 30 i mean the hotel the we're leaving from terminal 3 which is literally six minutes away drive so i think i should be there by 5 45 that gives us enough time because our flight is at eight o'clock i'm already checked in caitlin is not yet checked in because the system wouldn't allow me to check her in so i'm gonna do that first thing this morning and then we are ready to go you ready okay Anyway, guys, good morning. This is me with my beautiful face. First thing on a Saturday morning, coming to you live from Jamaica. Yeah, so this is my first morning here. I'm just here you know, on top of the house, taking in some nice fresh air in the early morning. Um, but as you can see, there's some construction going on around me. Yeah, but I just came to have a look and to get some nice 
fresh air listen to the birds birds and the chickens and all those little sounds that you would hear when you're in the countryside in the morning but nonetheless it's very peaceful nice and quiet and i'm about to have a long day and i'll definitely take you guys along show you little snippets here and there i promise to keep vlogging throughout the day right so today we're meant to be doing some work on our parents grave um there's some work that that needs to be done on them so that's the main project for today so we're gonna be having a few family and friends over we're gonna cook and eat and get the work done so that's what we're gonna be doing today and i'll show you guys as much as i'm able to show you of that all right so i am going to be unloading some barrels first thing this morning because there's some stuff that i need from that and then i am going to go to the supermarket i need a few stuff from the grocery store and then we'll see what happens next i'm not joking all my guys them them know me since oh six i've been writing this story i know the og but if you ask them them know me Wow. So this is the family plot. I guess when my older siblings are here, they could remind me who those two are. Right there. This is, this one is for my aunt who passed away um, more recent. So this is like one of the newest graves. I guess in the long run, the aim is to pretty much get most, if not all of them looking similar standard. This just needs a bit of cleaning off, you know, cause when it rains and stuff, so this one is for my aunt Daisy Edwards. Okay. Right. She was born in 1924 and she passed away in 2019. Right? If I'm being honest, I don't even it's so bad that I don't remember whose is whose because the names are not written on them but the aim today as i say is to get them you know looking up to scratch a lot of work needs to be done this one there's a crack right across there there's also this one that needs you know like some mason work to get it looking nice and even same thing with this one of course the tiling work is not gonna get done today because we have to 
pretty much get them looking to a certain standard before they're able to be tiled so the aim is to get them looking the path today all right so that's not looking like so far <sighs> up in the countryside in the hills of top Trelawney. but this one is really nice though so as i say it just needs a bit of cleaning and it's just greenery all around lots of banana trees over there the chickens running wild i mean they live here so pretty much they'll be just in this vicinity they may stray a bit but they'll come back they know home all right so going back down I've been 